culture and rhetoric is one of my favorite things to talk about. So I don't know, it's, these are going to be passionate videos. I'm so sorry. Okay. So when we're talking about culture and rhetoric, one of the things we're talking about, and so I have a series of dice here and these are the dice. I have these in my office all the time. Fun fact, when archaeologists, and I'm not an archaeologist, but when archaeologists look back to like the remains of culture, what, what are the products, and so this is where we're really starting to define culture, what are the products that are left behind and what does that tell us about the culture? Because we know that the products, especially if they still exist from ancient cultures, were valued. They were valued so much that the culture, the people who lived that used richer or just more, not necessarily scarce, more durable. There's the word I'm looking for, more durable materials to ensure that those products remained. And one of the coolest and consistent across multiple cultures products that exist game artifacts. We as humans have had games forever and we cared so deeply about games that we used materials that would be sustained across like thousands and thousands of years. We have knuckle dice from ancient Greek cultures that still exist in product form and we know that they're dice. They're so close to the dice that we use that we can understand these held great weight and purpose and function within that culture. So when we're defining culture, we're looking at what are the products and then what do they mean and why and how does all of that operate and why does it influence and why does it connect to and why does it convey meaning?